Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. I want to welcome back my guest for this segment. I'm going to get this right because this is Julia Smith. No, this is <laughs> Stephanie D'Angelo. Stephanie, welcome back to the show. Thank you, you so much. You are a good sport. <laughs> um, but we're, we're going to talk about the Dixieland Society. We are. And, you know, you always come arrayed in these great costumes and stuff. You have a good time with that, don't you? I do have a good time with it. Uh, I am the official queen of the Fresno Dixieland Society. You, so and I, you're looking very royal. Thank you. I honestly get to wear the crown whenever I want to. It just works out well. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I am the queen of Halloween this month. So we're, we're trying to get people to be aware that we have a Dixieland Society. And its mission is to keep traditional jazz music alive. You know... You've been you've been on the show many times. I have, and you know you you always mention that the 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 purpose of the society is to keep Dixieland and jazz music alive. That is correct. And you know, it, with younger people today, they don't have a clue. That's they, true. You know, so this is a, it's a great thing that you're doing. It's a very important part of our historical culture. It is know, jazz, Dixieland. It started here in, in America, and it, it spread to the world. And so many other styles of music, you know... Have come from have, jazz. Have come from jazz. Absolutely. It's kind of like the uh, root of a yeah. lot of music. And and so many great performers, you know, started out in, in jazz. And from jazz, we have blues and various other Absolutely. things. Absolutely. So the society, you know, you, you put on dances on a regular basis, but we you... Do. We're, and we'll talk about the upcoming dance, but I want to focus also, you have regular meetings, right? We, we do. Yeah. Uh, we have meetings, of course, for our board members because uh -huh. we're a 503C1 nonprofit. Right. But we, uh, so you can make donations to our society. Mm -hmm. What we do is we raise money mm -hmm. to send high school uh, jazz students to jazz camp. So if they're in band or jazz at a high school, then we offer them scholarships to go to jazz camp where they can spend a week immersed with jazz professionals and jazz teachers and really learn their craft. Can I qualify as a high school student? <laughs> I'm sure I you can. I want to go to jazz camp. <laughs> yeah, no, me that's too. That's awesome. It is. It's a really awesome thing. And what's really, uh, most people may not know, is that jazz camp is pretty pricey. It's between $750 and $1,000 per student to go for that week because you have the jazz professionals and you have the jazz teachers and you have their board and lodging mm. and all of that. And so we'd like to send them with their tuition, so to speak, and a little extra money for you know, some fun. How long have you been doing this now, the organization? Uh, the organization has been doing this, I think the organization started 40 years ago. We've been doing the jazz camp and the, um, the dances and the festivals for 36 years. Got a couple weeks under your belt. My uh, just goodness. A, just a few. Yeah, that's awesome. And the amazing thing is, is that in the dance community and in the music community, people are aware of us. Mm -hmm. But I mention this to other people on the street and they go, oh, I've and, never and, heard of it. You know, crickets. Never heard right. of it. And then they go, oh, but I don't dance. And I go, but it's really not about that. We put on dances because basically the jazz people like to play for an audience. Right. And, you know, it's fun music and people love to get up and dance. So we provide a dance floor. We mm -hmm. provide seating. You don't have to be a dancer well, to come. That's it. There's great music. Yeah, it's great know? music. And you can, you can come and enjoy if you don't. If you're not comfortable getting out on the dance floor, be be careful because <laughs> sitting there, you know, you just might get the and the next thing you know, you're on the dance floor and yes, so you might you might and on top of that, if you haven't danced in a while and you remember a little bit of dancing but you want to brush up, we do offer a free dance lesson along with the price of the fifteen dollar admission if you're not a member and mm -hmm. the ten dollar admission if you are. And that's from 12.30 to 1. Mm -hmm. So you can come and you can get a swing dance lesson and brush up a little bit with some professional mm -hmm. teachers. So, again, you're not out there by yourself. We're not, you know, no one's judging. We don't have Len and, you know, Dancing with the Stars out there. Uh -huh. No cards. So, yeah, I know. It's a relief for all of us. Trust me. And it's really a lot of fun. But, again, it can be a listening event. It's a right. live concert. Now, I mm -hmm. want to ask you, where can you go in Fresno on any given day or evening for four hours, mm -hmm. listen to live jazz, mm -hmm. have the opportunity to dance uh, for 10 or 15 dollars. 
Well, I would go to the Fresno Dixieland Society dance <laughs> because other than that, where else would you go? You can. I don't think you, even the Fresno Fair doesn't offer you that. Yeah. So uh, it's really great to come, and it's a really great cause because all the money goes, all the proceeds from the dances do go to send the children to camp. Which brings us to this upcoming dance. Yes. Let's talk about it. Okay. Our upcoming dance is October 13th. And that is a Sunday. The dance itself is from 1 to 5 p.m. Okay. It's at 5351 North Diana Court at the Fresno Elks Lodge. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with that, this is kind of north end of town. It is on Barstow Street between Fresno and Blackstone. Okay. So it's very easy to find. Yeah. And uh, it is at, on at Diana the Elks Court. Lodge. Yep. They have, a, they have a nice facility there. Very nice facility, yeah. very family-friendly, very safe, lots of parking, no other events competing with it, which is very important. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, there is a no-host bar. Mm -hmm. There are snacks available. It's not heavy snacks, just some light snacks. So right. if you, you want to eat lunch before or you want to go to dinner afterwards, so it's something like that. But we do have some snacks. We have raffle prizes mm -hmm. that you can purchase tickets. We also have door prizes, which, again, you get with the price of admission. Mm -hmm. And, again, all the money goes to the kids. Well, you know, snacks are good. Door prizes are good. Raffles are good. But the music. Yes. Let's talk about the music. because yeah, The music is the best. You know, one of the things that you've pointed out each time you've been on the show is the music is not just Dixieland music. It's not. It is not just Dixieland music. And a lot of people, they go, well, you know, we have traditional jazz, and they think of the old time. Mm -hmm. We have some of that. But the bands are very versatile. They right. play a variety of music. And this dance is going to be Yosemite Jazz Band, which mm -hmm. is a great group of local artists and teachers. So they're very well-schooled and very well-versed and have a wide variety of music and very happy to play <laughs> danceable music and great listening music. So right. toe tapping does. And we always have a parasol parade, mm -hmm. a little bit like New Orleans. And we just have a lot of fun. And also, if you're wondering, it is an air-conditioned facility, just in case well, it's too nice. hot, so that's good to know. Mm -hmm. And there is a no-host bar. So we have drinks available, soft drinks, water, anything mm -hmm. that pretty much your heart desires. That's awesome. So it is really awesome. And October 13th. Uh, October 13th, perfect day. Yeah. <laughs> the 13th, yeah. and it is called our Halloween Costume Ball. But I do uh, know that as much as I enjoy dressing up, there are some people who are not as comfortable doing so. Uh -huh. So it is not yeah. mandatory, it's not required that you dress up in a costume. So we can come as we are, so, so you to speak. You can come as yeah. you are, yeah. so to speak, yeah. absolutely. Okay. However, I do want to, you know, for those of you who want to get in the spirit of things, yeah. uh, we'll have a prize for the best costume. Awesome. So that's just get you. And I promise you, you will have a hauntingly good time. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Well, looking forward to it. Thank always. you so much. Thank you for being back on the show. Uh, always a pleasure. October 13th, $15. Where can you get that kind of entertainment and joy and good music? And you're going to be with a great group of people. Absolutely. Be Lots there. Lots of fun. Awesome. Very positive. Well, Thank you so much. Thanks, Beverly. Always <laughs> <laughs> you do that all the time. Yeah. Okay. Stephanie, thank you very much. Thank you so this. much. And, you know, I'll see you when we come back, but you, you may want to put this on your calendar for sure. Absolutely. Go to our website, please, at www.fresnodixie.com for our October dance, our December dance, and our four-day music festival in February. Great time for a great cause. There you go.